hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to create a loader kind of animation whenever you submit a form inside react so you can see this is a live demo we have a simple form and a submit button so whenever i click this button of submit you will see this loader kind of animation appearing for 5 seconds and it will automatically go back once again if i click the submit button you will see this loading animation appearing inside the button like this so we will see how to integrate this loading animation so we are using bootstrap framework and for this animation we are using a special library which is react hook form so if you go to npmjs.com you will find this library react dash hook dash form this is, this is a special library when working with forms it is based upon hooks here you will see various kinds of animations are there it's a very popular library react hook form over a million downloads are there one million downloads weekly downloads all the source code regarding this application will be there inside video description so this is the blog post i have written here so this is the react.js project here guys so first of all just create a brand new react.js project inside your app.js file you will see this file here appearing here and the very first thing you need to do npmi react dash hook dash form so install this dependency i have already done that and once again start your application npm start and now guys we will import our react dependency you will see nothing is there so we will re import react from react and then we will write our functional component export default function app and inside this we will have uh, our return statement A simple div we will have hello world so basically if you just see that oh sorry this needs to be a function app hello world is printing out on the screen so now guys we just need to have a submit button here inside the markup this is actually called as gsx we also need to import bootstrap file so at the command line you also need to install bootstrap so just write npm i bootstrap so i have already installed this command here so just execute this command to install bootstrap so now at the very top you need to write this line which was import bootstrap in slash dist slash css slash bootstrap main dot css so this is a file which is there after importing this file what we can do is that inside this h we can have h2 heading and we can say display loader animation on form submit and we can have this in the center of the screen and we can give it a class of text center and now you can see it is placed right here in the center of the screen after this h2 heading we can have a simple button we can wrap this using form element and inside this form we will have a div which will be having a class of empty dash two. This is a bootstrap class. So we are adding a margin from the top position. And here we will have a simple button. You will say submit form. So you will see if I refresh the application, we have a got a simple button here. This doesn't do anything. We can style this button using a bootstrap class of BTN, BTN danger. So this will make it a red color. You can change also change the color to primary this will make it blue color 
you can make it as green color also depending upon which color you like it is green here i think it also has a warning it will make it as yellow also it has info color i think this will make it as or uh, blue so this is looking good here so info is good and btn block so this will make a full screen button you will see if i refresh thing button info so now we can bind we can have some properties which we can import it from the react hood library so at the very top we can import a library which is import use form from react hook form the library which we have installed so now from this library we can expand extract some methods here which will be first method which will be handle submit which will be the method which will submit automatically get called whenever we submit the form and form state so this these all will be coming you from use form which we have imported and now we can have uh, our is submitted just create this variable at the very top and this will be equal to the form state and this is submitting we can attach to the button so we can provide a disabled property disable attribute and here we can at attach this is submitting so depending upon whether the form is submitted this dis the form will be disabled whenever we click the button so now if you click the button the button will be disabled but we haven't provided uh, the handle submit yet so right here at the form so we need to wrap this at the form so when the form submits we can attach a on submit event handler on submit and inside this guys we can ha have our submit handle submit handle submit and here we can pass submit form submit form so here guys we can write our custom uh, form handler whenever we submit the form what happens so you will see we have this defined here handle submit we are passing this custom function which is submit form so here we need to write this function function submit form and here guys this will uh, receive the data which is there inside the form so if you have some input input field inside this form it will have this data and inside this what we can do is that we can have a simple promise this is just a sample we can resolve this promise having resolve just to create that animation we can have a set timeout function we can have this animation for 4 seconds so 4000 millisecond that's it and after that we can this uh, again uh, stop the animation so this is this will be uh, printing animation for 4 seconds so you can just change this to 10 seconds you can just change here the milliseconds accordingly so now if I submit click submit you will see now the button is disabled by default but the animation is not still seeing you are not seeing the animation for having the animation guys there needs to be a property which is needs to be assigned here inside uh, wherever you have the label here right here you need to have a span tag and depending upon this is submitting property if the form is submitted and also we need to write uh, this span tag the span tag will be having a class so class will be of spinner so these are all bootstrap classes spinner grow spinner grow small so these are bootstrap classes guys so basically we are con checking for a condition that if the form is submitting so we have assigned this variable here so this will be holding the form state so if the button is clicked this span tag will automatically show the spinner to you 
if the forms is not submitted then then it will hide it so now if i add this now you will see this nice little animation effect inside the uh, button here it will appear for four seconds and it will automatically turn down you can change this functionality let's suppose i want it for eight seconds so i will change it to eight thousand millisecond once i return you will see it will appear the animation for eight seconds and then it will automatically turn off the animation for us so you will see in this easy way guys we can integrate our uh, form loading animation whenever you submit the form and uh, just uh, uh, click the button in react.js application using this react hook form library we, I, I have shown you this step by step all the source code will be there inside video description if you want if you have any sort of doubt you can comment on this video please hit the like button subscribe the channel and uh, i will be seeing you in the next video